According to obesity geneticist Dr. Eric Ravison, our hunter-gatherer ancestors had to live off whatever they could find. But sometimes that wasn't much. Which is when fat as an efficient storage system really came into its own. Populations went through periods of feast and famine. During the periods of famine, maybe two-thirds or three-quarters of the population would disappear. But those were chubbier, or those fatter babies would survive and then procreate themselves and pass on these genes. So according to this theory, at times of famine, it was literally a case of the survival of the fattest. The cycles of feast and famine that humankind has been subjected to was an important natural selective process in which uh, all the babies or the people a little bit chubbier would survive the period of famine and then be able to gain the weight during the period of feast. This could explain why large parts of the population have a tendency to lay down fat stores easily. It's only very recently in human history that this has become a problem. Now, the feast is constant. You have food available every corner, very cheap, very palatable, and this is really a perfect mixture to provide the expression of these genes and confer obesity and weight gain to these people. And I think that the stigmatizing of the obese population is wrong because those were the survivors. Those are the people who would survive a difficult and tough environment. But although putting on fat easily may have been an advantage in the past, in today's environment, the opposite is true. It's the naturally slim who live longer, healthier lives. <laughs>